All right, so my lady friend Cindy's over. Give me a haircut, but first, I gotta get the clippers going. And actually, my dad's heading up to Arch right now to pick up the gasket for this guy, if I can get that done later. Oh, yeah. What is it? Just clogged. They cut. Yeah, these iFixit toolkits are amazing. Phenomenal. What the fuck? Oh. My dad picked up an empty bag. Wow, I feel like an idiot. Need to evacuate the garage for a little bit. Copious amounts of carbon choke cleaner and enclosed spaces don't go together so well. Uh, got the car all fixed up. So I'll put in a fuel line fill filter and put it all back together. This is why you don't let projects sit, because then you forget things like what hole this goes in. So if I'm wrong, I'm gonna take this all back apart again. Oh, we got a nice nut on the inside of there, too. Hell yeah. I routed that wrong. I think I need to route around the entire thing. That nobody want to have to take it off because that clearance isn't big enough. Freaking sweet! Hold on, just do a little wiggle for me. Shit. Ah, fuck. Throttle linkage. What's going to be easier, taking the carburetor off or taking the fuel filter off? I'm going fuel filter. All right. Now we barely have enough room to get this nut started. Oh, that's a flathead, so it'll be even more fun. Fucking God, this design sucks. Stay in there. Are you started? I think you are. Nice. So I'll do some read and see if it needs a new carb or sadly, I mean, really I would think it's an air leak. I'm not sure what I want to do now. For some reason I'm really craving Taco Bell. In the manual I downloaded it, it has a low speed adjustment, but we just have a welch plug in here. I took a break, did some reading, ate some dinner, and got the uh, help of a friend, Mr. Tenfitty. So even though they're a bit pricey, freaking delicious. I'm gonna get back to this saw. I was getting ready to start breaking down the carburetor. While I'm doing that, I was going to get the uh, you know, poor man's vacuum test on the crankcase when I noticed. So yeah, definitely bearings and seals. But I'm gonna keep going, just why not? So I've gotten it broken down as far as I went last time, but I've got two Welch plugs, so I'm gonna pull those. And I've never done Welch plugs, but I just watched a video on YouTube, so I'm an expert. Oh, I had it mixed up. I thought we had a high, not a low. We have a low, not a high. So I don't feel there's any need for me to pull that one. I really don't have high hopes after seeing how loose that crankshaft is, but we'll give it a shot. I looked everywhere and I can't find my bearing puller. Kind of pisses me off because I'm not one to lose tools. Before I get to this though, after my fall, my dad pretty much winterized my equipment for me. But I just realized the other day that we missed the pole printer, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick. All right, a little funky color. I don't 
really use it all that often, so it had already been sitting before I fell. The gas that was in there is probably eight months old or so. Already starting to gum it up, wouldn't even idle, had to follow up the idle. It's that fast with the ethanol and the gas. I mean, it, it sucks, and you need to definitely make sure you winterize your equipment anytime it's not going to be getting used for a period of time. Yet again, another thing I've never done before. So I'm not sure if I can really grip onto the small lips on the inside here. I may have to uh, grind my own little notches. Oh, I already slipped off that side. Of course, I'm prying against the very object, so I'm gonna find it. I can just break it. I think I can get it. Oh, it's so moving. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, oh. There she be. Let's clean all that shmoo out of there. You're talking like a no. Oh, I took the side cover off and blocked it up, so that way when I'm so that way when I'm tapping on the flywheel, the force is just going straight down. There she be. Missing a washer, it looks like. Nope. That was everything I got. I didn't take it apart. I'm about to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Gives this feeling better. I've looked, I haven't found anything. I'm rather surprised. I'm thinking about just taking this back seat out and building tool storage. I think that'd be pretty sweet, especially if I got a load of logs or something in the back, I'd still have room for my saws and gear. Alright, so we're here with Chris. <laughs> and. A bit of trouble. Yeah. We're gonna go swing by the shop, grab a jack, and just change it out. Alright, got him taken care of. And I had a uh, noon physical therapy, but I called and they said go ahead and come in at 3, so that worked out well. While we were in the shop grabbing tools, I asked him what was up with the yellow chipper, and he said one of the knives actually broke off. That's down pretty hard. I can't imagine what the damage is on there. You can spend the money to maintenance equipment, or you can spend a whole lot more money down the road when it fails catastrophically. The first time I changed the knives on a chipper, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I read the manual. And don't quote me, but I believe it says you can only reuse those bolts like two times, I believe. And I don't know when the last time those bolts were changed, so... Therapists work so hard, even Gibbs is feeling it. I'm sorry to say, but to help deal with the pain, 
I'm back on the digital dope. Boldly you sought the power of Ragnaros. Now you will taste the flesh. But how can you stay away from something this awesome? Ha, ha, ha.